people how are y'all me i'm doing a little bit better i've been journaling reflecting getting a lot of clarity and insights and i know what i need to do and what i need to focus on so this is just this is just an energy that reflects what i was led to record and why i was led to even make this week's topic for for this week's intuitive Sarah insights trademarked by me and my business divine prayer divisions llc which is the energy of downloads you are receiving downloads and in this energy, what you need to do and what you should be doing is grounding yourself so you can receive, so you can pay attention, so you can be aware. So in truth and simple terms, you are receiving information. You are receiving information. What you do with this information, if you're actually able to receive said information, is on you. So it's really a way to help you maneuver through life to know what you need to focus on, what you need to maybe heal, address, and really give your attention to. It's really what you may be looking for. So you want to be grounded 111 on the time and pay attention. Because when you're grounded, you're able to receive. You're able to pay attention to the downloads. And paying attention to what you receive is important because you can receive the solution to something, but if you're not paying attention to that solution, well, it may be overlooked. So again, the energy for this week's Intuitive Seer Insights, trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions LLC, is about downloads. Basically, what I do every week when, when I do my Intuitive Seer Insights, whatever message I receive, it's all about downloads. It's what my spiritual team gives me as the information, the insights, what I need to focus on. In this case, it downloads. I hope, oh, my voice went out. I hope you enjoy this energy. And really, what I'm being led to emphasize before I go on to insight number one, is you've been praying, you've been asking, you've been communicating, you've been setting intentions, right? So you wanna pay attention to what you are getting as information, what you are receiving. The answer to said prayers, the communication from your spiritual team, maybe even from your higher self, from spirit the divine, and direct communication to you in a way from what you've been asking for. So your prayers are being answered. What you've been communicating, you're receiving information related to that energy. So it's on you to pay attention and receive that information through the downloads. I'll see you at your insight selection, amazing people. Intuitive insight number one. I'm Shaman Dejanay, and this week's Intuitive Seer Insights, trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions LLC, is about downloads. It's about you receiving information. The first thing that I was told and that, that I'm supposed to address is, is in all seriousness, they had me get a little bit more serious in my energy. You've been at a place, you have been at a place where basically you felt like your prayers have not been answered and that you've been communicating your needs, communicating to your spiritual team in some way, shape or form, and you have not been receiving answers. The energy for this insight, insight number one, is you're at a place where you're going to be receiving insight answers and insights so pay attention i'm not saying that they're going to be the answers you want to hear insight number one because they really want me to emphasize it may not be the answers you want to hear but you will be will be receiving insights answers confirmations communications the downloads um you can be stubborn you can be a little they're like you can be pig-headed so don't let your stubbornness block you from receiving confirmations and communication. So I'm stubborn. I'm a Taurus. I'm a Taurus son, y'all. And I have to always ground myself and be at a place to receive, even when I don't want to hear the answer to what's going on. There's a light that flashed behind me when I said that. But seriously, you have to be at a place to receive. Receiving. You have to be at a place of receiving. Do you understand that? Insight number one, as in you can't be in an attitude, you can't be in an emotional state, you can't be at a place where you're not trying to hear, blocking out the communication, being stubborn. You cannot do that because maybe you're frustrated, maybe you're angry, maybe you're sad, you're in an emotional state. And in that emotional state, that causes you to not be at a place to receive. So you really have to, insight number one, be grounded and be at a place where you can tune in and receive the confirmations. That's the biggest energy that I have for your insight is be at a place to receive the answers to your prayers. Be at a place where to receive the information, the insights, the confirmations. Maybe something isn't meant to be. 
because I feel like a lot of you have things that you just want a set outcome and your spiritual team is saying that set outcome for over half of you is not what's going to be I'm just being honest I got a little negative energy like a heavier energy when I said that because there's a resistance to that but it's the truth so maybe you block out everything besides what you want to hear but I'm here to tell you that's not how our spiritual teams work they don't tell you when your spiritual team is really for you what you want to hear they tell you what you need to hear and what you need to hear at this moment in time comes across as more blunt more heavier energy more of something you may not want to hear may not want to receive but even if you don't want to hear it or don't want to receive it insight number one you still need to and deeper than that you need to be accountable for yourself and your emotions and there's nothing wrong with being emotional there's nothing wrong with feeling your emotions but you can't be trapped there they can't hinder you for you can for you cannot maneuver through life and or get the information that you've been praying and asking for and this is a habit 333 three, three on the time that this insight this group this collective needs to break 80% of you plus. Again, the accountability. Be self-accountable. Realize what actions you have and things you need to heal and address so that you can maneuver through life and make progress. And it may be stubbornness. You may have to learn to work with your stubbornness. That's what I do. So that I don't block and hinder myself, but it's deeper than that. Um, the energy is download. That is the fo focus for this week's Intuitive Seer Insights. What I'm being led to say is you possess the ability to receive. You possess the ability to receive insight number one. So what you do with the information you receive is on you. So again, this is the actionable side of what you need to do. So if you're set on this one outcome and you receive the information that this one outcome may not be the best route for you to take, then you decide, I'm going to do it anyway. And then you have all these unnecessary obstacles and challenges, hindrances, blockages. Well, the action that you took was not for your highest and best good. You were forewarned to avoid that, but you were being stubborn and still going that route. Negligence. That's the energy of neg negligence. Um, so spirit, the divine, your spiritual team, my spiritual team is telling me to tell you this. These two things. On a search engine, it could be Google, Google, type in the spiritual significance of negligence. See what comes up and see what resonates. The second thing is the spiritual significance of accountability or self-accountability. See what comes up and resonates. Reflect on that energy and see how it fits you. Because then it will allow you to see what you need to work on. And when you do that, it also gives you energies and answers and solutions to what you need to what you can do to work on it so you reflect on how it fits and then it tells you solutions or options that you can do and the steps you can take to work on this energy <coughs> um sorry my voice <clears throat> what i'm being led to highlight again insight number one you have the ability to receive so if you're in this, as an orb just popped up, if you're in this place to receive, work with your spiritual team to maneuver through the energy surrounding your life to take the right steps and make the right actionable steps, take the right action to do what you need to do in a positive way so that you can have positive movement forward in site number one. Your spiritual team is saying you're at a place where you can receive the information. My body's getting goosebumps. My arms are getting goosebumps. So you get that information. They tell you what you need to do. Communicate to them. Okay, two-way communication. You receive information. Ask them for clarity. Ask them for deeper context. If this is not the right path, what is the right path? What steps should I take? You have the ability to receive. That shows them if you're asking questions that way that you're open to receiving the answers you're open to receiving the insights you're open to flowing differently and letting them help you and guide you so that you can maneuver through the situation in your life efficiently in the best way for the best outcome it's also a mindset switch because you're not always right you're not being stuck you're not being stubborn you're being receptive you're receiving the download and you're communicating 
making your life more easier and more efficient. They keep emphasizing you doing it this way makes it easier, more efficient. You're flowing with the energy surrounding your life, working with your spiritual team and getting things done. Very beautiful energy. It's very nice. Um, they're saying to me that your stubbornness or what you perceive the, what must be like the fact that you get stuck on what must be, this has to be the outcome, this has to be the path, path often blocks you from being on the best path and having the best outcome. Don't be so narrow-minded. You have such a narrow focus. Think of the big picture. Think of the options. Think of the possibilities. Think of the things that you may not even know are possible in alignment with who you are and your purpose and the path that you could be on. Have that mindset and allow your, your spiritual team to show you the other options and possibilities. And in that other option and possibilities energy, it gives you the foundation of receiving information. Again, you have no problem receiving. You feel like you're blocked from it, but that's because your stubbornness is blocking you from seeing things outside of what you want to see. A lot of you, like 80% of you. So if you're working in this energy of being open to possibilities, open to outcomes, open to a different path, not being narrow-minded, your spiritual team will start painting the bigger picture to you, showing you the options, and you will receive the information and downloads of what's available to you and possibilities, the possibilities surrounding you so that you can move forward. Because you're not as stuck as you think. It's just that it's a different outcome, a different path maybe even a different 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 um destination a different destination that you that you're meant to go towards and on and um <laughs> they're showing me like someone's mind being blown because you see a part of who you are even if you're me you may see a part of who you are right you may know you're the daughter of gaia you may know you're here to help people reawaken and raise the earth's vibration even that foundational truth if maybe you're a star seed, an earth angel, a mystic, you have a connection to Danu, Odin, Hecate, right? That's a part of who you are. Even in that part, there's so much more for you to discover. They want you to realize that there's always more for you to discover, no matter how far you've been on your journey. There's more for you to expand to. That's the way consciousness, the way the universe works, the way magic works. So they want you to let your mind be blown. They want you to surrender and trust and let go and allow them to lead you so that what you are meant to do, the path that you're meant to be on, you can discover so many beautiful things in the energy of self-discovery, discovery within the world, discovery on what you're meant to do, discovery even on that path that may be winded and just enjoy the journey. Um, if you allow yourself to be in this mindset, your mind will be blown in a positive way, positive outcomes, even though there are going to be challenges. But it will allow you to receive. It will allow you to maneuver through life. It will allow you to go through the challenges knowing that you're on the right path and course. And allow this, this path, even though it has challenges, to be less rocky. Because challenges and obstacles are a part of life. There are certain things you're just going to have to experience. But you can go on a path that's less rocky that have lessons that you're meant to learn, things you have to learn, and allow you to adjust and really allow you to have that personal and spiritual growth. And faith and trust in your spiritual team because you know that they're leading you, that there's a reason for this. You communicate, you get the downloads you receive, and you allow yourself to be led and to experience. Anything else in this insight, spirit, the, the divine? They're saying no. They're telling me to tell you the words, trust the process and let go of the stagnancy. You letting go of the stagnancy, you letting go of the outcome, you letting go of the stubbornness in this situation and adjusting to being stubborn because I'm so stubborn. You still have to be able to receive. Will allow you to be on your path and align with your purpose and be on the, your journey and allow the journey to actually happen. Because on the spiritual journey, on the healing journey, on the life journey, there are things you just can't control. There's a, there are also things you can avoid. 
and your spiritual team wants you to avoid certain things if you allow yourself to receive the information and be on the right path on your journey taking taking and setting a new course or a you know a maneuvered course but divinely guided course that is the right one for you so intuitive insight number one again i'm shaman dashane and i'm here to raise the earth's vibration uplift human uh, bleh, <laughs> excuse me my definition of that is uplift humanity and um heal the planet and help people reawaken, which is helping people tap back into the magic of the magic within the universe, my definition. And I do so with videos like this that I do hope resonate it, resonate and resonate it. So again, the the energy for this week's Intuitive Sarah Insights trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions LLC, is about downloads and you have the ability to receive. Your spiritual team is saying you've just been blocking the communication. So open up and trust them and allow yourself to receive the information no matter what the information is. It doesn't have to be the desired outcome. It's something else, something that's for your highest and best good and something that will help you as you are maneuvering through life. And if this did resonate, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, help a budded spiritual influence route. I hope you have a great morning, evening, or afternoon. Ashe. Intuitive insight number two. So I have to start off with, this is like the starseed earth angel group. You probably identify as being a star seed, so having a part of your soul that originates in the cosmos. So like Atlantean, Syrian, Lyran, Arturian, Orion, Dramadan. Uh, there's some other ones, but I can't think of them at this moment in time. Just naming a few. Um, of all Palladian too. And an earth angel, somebody with a connection to the angelic realm that incarnated here to heal the planet, right? And insight number two, I'm Shaman Dejane, and I identify as an um, earth angel and a star seed too. But personally, my origins are of this earth, my first incarnation being the daughter of Gaia. And the energy for this week's Intuitive Seer Insights, trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions LLC, is about downloads. The energy is about downloads. And when I started tapping into your energy and I started to receive like information on your behalf, like right beforehand, because I always just know what I'm writing. That's like, the, I get a download of the, but this is the focus for this week's Intuitive Seer Insights. And then I record, I don't, unless I say I wrote something and I read it, I don't write anything, I just channel. And right before I started recording your insight, I just knew it was a big star seed energy, but also earth angel energy but a huge starseed energy and they can intertwine because like Arcturians are like angelic energy. They interlap in many different ways. But the biggest thing for your energy is the downloads you're receiving is in relation to who you are and your connection to the Galactic Federation of Light and or the angelic realm. And this energy is very potent. It's a collective energy for starseeds and earth angels at this time. So if you follow anybody who talks a lot about starseed energies, even if you watch my video focusing on September 2024 energies, this was a part of that because there's an illumination happening when it comes to starseeds understanding their mission more in depth and starseeds coming into themselves, connecting, connecting to their origins and really that push and that illumination. It's the same thing with angelic energy and earth angel energies because Things are getting a little bit more dire in Earth and humanity's history. We're about to go into a repetitive cycle. It's going to really start showing towards the end of 2024, really going to expand in 2025. And it's going to be about a five-year cycle, maybe going into six, but around a five-year cycle from 2025 to 2030, 2031. And in this dip in energy, even, which is not positive, I know. I'm just being blunt. I mean, I'm the daughter of Gaia. I tap me and get all the visions and stuff, but... A collective push, taking myself out of this, is to heal the Earth's vibration and frequency. We have to raise the vibration and frequency. A lot of people will tell you how low it is, but I found out through channeling and tapping in, it's about 20% of light and 80% of dark. So, more people awakening to the depths of who they are and those abilities as star seeds and earth angels and tapping into their cosmic origin which is starseed origin and connecting to the galactic federation of light and the angelic realm and working with these angels is giving you access to your power i'm here to help people reawaken 
there's like a switch going off and people activate their gifts and their abilities and they start to know more about who they am, who they are and what they're meant to do. And maybe you know you're a starseed, but then you start to activate your gifts and abilities, your light more. And then it's like, oh, I'm really am magical. Oh, I'm really am powerful. Oh, I need to be able to do this because I need to heal the planet. There's an awareness of who you are and what you're capable of doing and who you're meant to work with while doing so. Because there's this energy towards your power, your foundation, which you need to come into. That's the understanding of who you are as a starseed. The understanding of who you are as an earth angel, right? But then there's a push and a nudge towards that understanding. And the depths, the layers, the levels, the downloads related to that energy. You accessing your power. They're highlighting you accessing your power. You accessing your power. You're getting access to your power. So that would be a lot of activations happening for you. Spiritual activations. Developing your gifts. Coming into that foundation. And magic is real. The magic that you kind of hear about. Well, you do. If you're a fantasy lover like me. The magic that you hear about in mythology mythology and lore, I can't even speak right, it's annoying me. But um, mythology and lore, the magic you hear about in like books and like back in the old ways, the old days, the old ways, the old magic, ancient magic, the sacred magic that you know some people have had passed down in their families but also been primarily taken away. That's the magic you're accessing. That's the magic you are reawakening to. That's your understanding that you have. There's a collective push of realizing magic is real and accessing said magic. So that comes through activating a part of your soul. Activating your gifts, spiritual activations of some type. And then activating a deeper level and context into your starseed origins, your gifts and your abilities. So you getting access to being able to tap into that magic. Getting access to be able to do what you're meant to do. And then developing said gifts in a safe space and working with your spirits, your cosmic guides, with the angels to amplify your energy by channeling and working with them and knowing where you're supposed to focus that energy and knowing where you're supposed to focus that energy. I, there's this collective push and energy towards you realizing just how powerful you are and how magical you are and that you are a part of the magic. Like that cosmic energy, the angelic energy that you hold and you possess, activating. A depth, a layer, an awareness, you tapping in. And you may be a starseed, right? Like you know you're a starseed. I mean, just be very straightforward. And you're like, you know what, I'm tapping into this. But you can have access to your abilities and then have it activated. What I mean by that is like, personally, I have the ability to help people develop their gifts and activate their gifts. And I activate people usually by working with their energy or with their spiritual team. So let's say you're a liar and starseed and the liar and you book a reading with me or something. And I'm not saying this to like market myself, but you book your reading as a liar and you're like, I already have a level of development. I'm pretty good. So you book a starseed reading. The Lyrans lead me to, or spiritual gifts development reading, the Lyrans lead me to activate your gifts. We work with your Lyran guides, you activate your energy, you have that access, things avail, a thing that you are blocked from, or you're barely um, accessing, becomes more open and accessible to you. And in that energy, because I'm going to tell you what Lyran guides you're supposed to work with, that you're tapping into, that's going to help you master that, you master that ability. You start developing it. It could be with me through spiritual um, gifts development coaching. It could be on your own working with that Lyran guide because you're meant to. That's just an example. As an earth angel, it will be the same energy as working. Let's say you have a strong connection with Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael is saying you need to activate that connection deeper and more in depth so you can understand the connection and the mastery of gifts and abilities tied to him and you that you need to do. I work with Archangel Michael. I activate you in that energy. You have access more to Archangel Michael's energies. You start communicating and working more with him. He's telling you what gifts and abilities you need to develop and work with him to master. Basically warrior energy, right? But there's a huge push for this collective. The downloads you're receiving. <coughs> 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 oh, excuse me. The downloads you're receiving is about your magic. 
The downloads you are receiving is about who you are, what you have access to, the need for you to develop your gifts, activate your gifts, reawaken to who you are and the connections you have. In the energy of being a star seed and or an earth angel. Another big push for this in the downloads energy, which could be more triggering for you, because they had me mention this earlier, is the fact that you start getting the downloads, the visions, the knowing clicking in, the information you're receiving about earth and humanity's energy that's becoming more dire. You start being aware of how more how low vibration of the earth and humanity's energy is. You start tapping into the negative energies and the spaces within Earth and humanity. You start tapping into the wars going on in the multiple realms within Earth and um, humanity. You start tapping into how serious it is and like, oh, we got to do something. We need to be active about this. Getting those visions, getting that information, having those insights, tuning into that energy is heavy. And for star season, Earth angels, we chose to incarnate here to help with Earth and humanity shifting and heal the planet and if we incarnated here at this moment in time which obviously if you're watching this video at this moment in time i'm recording this on monday september 9th 2024 that means you are here specifically to help with this shift in dire energy which has been a prophecy and foresaw your soul came here saying you know what earth and humanity's energy is very very low i need to come here and help that's the star seed or earth angel mission so you're going to get more information, clarity, and insight on what your star seed and earth angel mission is and what you're supposed to do. And just an illumination of who you are. It's the downloads, the downloads, the downloads. Downloads about what's going on within earth and humanity's energy, the need of healing the planet, the low, vibration, low vibrational energy, the negative spirits, energies, and entities, the multiple wars going on within the multiple realms and the multiple levels, even including humans war. It's a lot. Then you have this energy about being a starseed earth angel, understanding your mission, getting downloads about that, um, connecting more with the angelic realm, connecting more with the starseed origins, even maybe just in general, the Galactic Federation of Light. And third, which is very important, the energy for this collective is getting downloads on what your magic is, what you are reawakening to, what you need to activate, what you need to develop, who you need to be working with. The downloads you're receiving is basically about who you are, what you came to do, and the fact that it's time to do it. 11-11 was on the time. It's a deep understanding and context of a lot of serious energy for this collective of, you know, it's about time I come into myself, understand what I came to do, shake off my negative emotions and energies towards me having to be here and take on this fight. Your soul chose to do this. I can't explain the why your soul chose to, but they did. If you have a star seed, earth angel mission, your soul came here to do this. It did. There's no exceptions. I'm not saying you agree with that, but you did. Well, as a human, you don't. Your soul does. Um, is there anything else you want me to tell them in this energy? They're saying no. You're going to have emotional and informa emotional information overwhelm is what I'm being led to say to you. And this is going to be an energy from now, September, even before this, to the end of the year. And it's just going to heighten more and more as things become more dire within Earth and humanity's energy. It's going to become more heightened and more information. The, um, the visions may become more vi um, vivid. The energy is going to become more intense. And that's all because of basically you're tapping into what's going on. It's an ability you have. It will heighten. So um, that awareness is needed. Those downloads are needed. It's just that how you receive that information, how you maneuver through receiving that information, and the fact that you receive that information, knowing you receive it for a reason so you can be in the loop and deeper than that and do something about it. It's about being actionable. It's, it's the energy you're on and in. Um, I understand the emotional overwhelm. They want to highlight that. But the way to combat that energy is for you to sink into the energy Become an awareness of that, protect your energy, work with your spirits, which I mean cosmic guides, angelic energy, whatever others, what other, what, <clears throat> what other, other spirits you can work with. And that will allow the energy to come in. That will allow the breakthrough to come through and it will allow you to be at a better space and, a, and in a better energy and flowing beautifully. Star season, earth angels. Um, there's a push for me to emphasize that you're not alone in this energy. So when you do tap into your cosmic family, 
because star seeds, there's many, like if you're a Lyran, I don't know why I keep saying Lyran, so maybe there's a huge push for Lyran in this. But if you're a Lyran star seed, right? There's other other Lyran star seeds and you have a collective mission. It may differ in some ways, but you can come into other Lyran star seeds and work together. Earth angels, a lot of people with earth angel missions, angelic energy that you're meant to work with and you can come in to do amazing things together. So there's a collective of you out there that you're going to eventually find and resonate with and do amazing things in relation to your mission. So trust that energy, have faith in that energy and allow yourself to come to you, come into you. Work with your spiritual team, those cosmic guides, those star seed guides, um, your soul family in that way, and also your angelic team. And um, they know what's going on. You can know more about what's going on as you connect to them and you have access to yourself and really come into your power and foundation. Um, if you want more context into that, I do have 10 minute Earth Angels and 10 minute Star Seed readings. Um, they're half off right now. For September 2024, I think I may keep the sale until November is what I've been told to the end. And that 10 minute reading will be $25 for the Star Seed and the Earth Angel reading, um, Earth Angels till November 2024 is what I've been led to say. And in that energy, it's in the pinned comment. I can help you tap into the energy, see what's around you. There's also 30 minute and one hour readings. Um, intuitive insight number two. Yeah, you're receiving a lot, a lot of downloads about who you are as a star seed and as an earth angel. And it's overwhelming. You're going to get in this energy of emotional overwhelm. But it's meant for you to know so you can know what you need to do and align with your mission and connect to your spiritual team, giving you a sense of stability and foundation and helping you come into your power, what you're reawakening to, what, you're, what you are capable of doing and mastering said gifts and abilities, activating them, developing them, coming into self. So intuitive insight number two again, I'm Shaman Dejeuner and I hope that this week's intuitive seer insights trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions LLC, resonated. If it did resonate, Please give this video a like, a like, comment, subscribe, share, help a buddy spiritual influencer out. Again, the energy energy was about downloads and I'm here to raise the earth's vibration, which I define as um, heal the planet, uplift humanity, and help people reawaken. And the definition that I define that as is help people tap back into the magic and the magic within the universe. And I do so with videos like this that I do hope resonated. So if it did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, and help a buddy spiritual influencer out. Ashe. Intuitive insight number three. I'm Shaman Dejeuner and um, I'm here to help people re reawaken and tap back into the magic of the magic within the universe and heal the planet, uplift humanity, raise the earth vibration energy. I don't know why I was led to say that. I usually say it at the end, but um, this week's Intuitive Sarah Insights, trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions LLC, is about downloads. And um, your energy is very happy. It made me feel bubbly because I'm hearing, tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. Let me know if this right here, something you can have for years. And my voice is going out, but that's what I'm hearing. And what I got from that download is tell me what you want from me. Take a look, uh, see right, look, look right here and see if this is what you want for years. So there's a, um, there's this energy for you really straightforward is look at what's around you is it what you want is it something you want for years if not change it if it is you're aligning if it is and you don't think you're aligning well figure out what that energy is about because for me what i got as the download before i started hearing that song it's um you were a getting what you've been asking for and praying for and what your spiritual team wanted to tell me in that and i don't think i got the lyrics completely right by the way um i know the song i think it's total featuring maze but i'm gonna put it in the description box um what they were saying to me is be clear about your what you're setting the intentions that you want because you're manifesting and you're about to start receiving the download for you in this energy is set clear intentions, make sure you know what you want and pay attention to what your spiritual team may be nudging you for and towards and realization of what you don't need. 
maybe you're fixated on something, right? And that something is not what you actually need or what you should be going towards. There's an energy of your spiritual team is saying you're manifesting. You're about to receive. There's a breakthrough at hand. There's a beautiful energy of you're getting stuff, right? You're getting the downloads of even how you're meant to get it. Because they're going to give you actionable things to do and you're going to receive. It's a two-way communication. Um, but they really want you to focus insight number three on what you actually want. They want you to take the time to look around you. Take the time on, on fo and focus on what you've been envisioning. And make sure you have the intentions set and that they're clear. And deeper than that, take the time to reflect on who you are and what you're truly going towards. Because you're in this beautiful energy of you're going to start getting stuff and receiving things. You're manifesting. Like you're in the energy. Like it's really around you. Like things are coming in. But your spiritual team wants you to manifest insight number three. What you actually need and want. And to be working towards where working towards what you actually need to go towards. So example. Maybe you're like, hmm. I want to move to this state. And you're manifesting moving to this state. But your spiritual team has been giving you a lot of signs that you're meant to stay in the state you're at and that there's opportunities and energies going to be where you're at. So that is, hmm, maybe I should focus on staying here, manifesting opportunities opening up here and me being able to be in a very positive state and energy where I'm at because your spiritual team are giving you signs. So pay attention to the downloads you're receiving on what you actually should be manifesting where you're supposed to be and what you should be focusing your energies on and the intentions on. Because they're like, we're giving you hints here. We're giving you hints here. We're giving you hints here. Pay attention to what those downloads and hints are because they're giving you some really clear intentions. They're giving you some really clear downloads, but are you willing to receive that? So simple example for me. I live in Nevada. My spiritual team wants me here. Do I really want to stay in the state of Nevada? Not really. Why? I like green. That is the honest answer. I like green. I like the energy of living around, like forest energy. It makes me happy. So solution to that, I used to live in Vegas. Now I'm living in Laughlin. They're like, oh, you like nature, Dejeuner? Hmm, go an hour and a half away. You live by a river now. It's not green, but water, water spirits, energy, same thing. Concept makes me happy. There's parks here. They're like, find the beauty and discover the beauty in mountains. That's pretty much what they told me. There's beauty in all types of nature and forms. And me living by water fulfills, it fulfills an energy that's similar, but different than living in a, by a forest or in like, greenery because water spirits is cleansing the energy of green I can find throughout the city right I could be stupid and move out of Nevada but I've been clearly told that this is where I'm supposed to be so manifesting from where I'm supposed to be so that the positive energy surrounding me comes in where I'm at surrendering to the fact that I'm supposed to be here in this journey. That this is where I'm supposed to be. That this is the stage and place that a lot of things are going to shift for me. Understand? So, they're showing me you're like you're right on your nose. It's like it's right in your face. You're like really sniffing and smelling. It's right there. Pretty much in your face. So you've been getting that direct communication. You've been receiving those direct downloads. Things have been coming in. Now, what you do with that information is your choice. Because you're at a place, and it's a powerful state, of receiving, of manifesting. And you're actually receiving downloads towards your manifestations. So you've been getting confirmation messages of said downloads and said manifestations. So they've been telling you, you're on the right path. You're on the right course. You're in control. 
Your spiritual team is not actually forcing you to do anything right now besides give you information so you can reflect on it. So your choice and what happens in your life, they're letting you make it. So if you make the mistake, they're letting you learn, learn the lessons of life. Because they're not as hands on with you in this collective, but they're still working with you. Do you understand what I mean by that? It's like they're working with you, giving you the downloads, the information, the insights. They led you to this message saying, you are manifesting. We are working with you. Here, let me give you this download to highlight this. Let you receive this information. Let, me, let us point out to you that maybe it's not a good idea that you should do this so that you can pull back and reflect and realize, hmm, maybe that I shouldn't focus on this. Maybe this isn't for my highest and best good. Or you can be like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do. Your spiritual team is going to let you learn the lessons, mistakes, repeat a cycle, break a cycle, go towards the future with towards positive growth, go towards the future with unnecessary obstacles and struggles, resistance, pain, maybe suffering, or a positive energy and a light on your own. That is the stage you are at because they're giving you the downloads. They are highlighting things to you. They're showing you things. They're illuminating things. But the choice and the decisions you make are going to be yours. And what I like about this energy, which is also a little bit of a, eh, is they're saying whatever you're focusing on is going to manifest. So manifest positive things. They're highlighting you are manifesting. You're going to receive the breakthrough that could be a really massive blessing or it could be something you manifested that you don't need. That she makes think as an opportunity or a breakthrough, but it's not for the highest and best good of you or in your alignment. But you still take that chance and that opportunity and that is your choice. They're not blocking you from manifesting it. They just want you to focus on what you're manifesting and making sure you're manifesting the right thing and setting the right intentions. That is actually a very beautiful energy. It's also of energy of pay attention. Use your discernment. Are you being stubborn? Are you being stuck? Are you paying attention to, to paying attention to <coughs> um, paying attention to the messages surrounding you, the energy surrounding you, the other things coming through? And excuse me, because they want you to make the right choice. You've been communicating and asking for maybe guidance, assistance, clarity. You're receiving the downloads of what that is. But as you receive the downloads and they're not forced, they may be subtle. Are you going to pay attention to that subtlety? Or are you going to choose to ignore it to go towards what you want and forget the warnings? Because they kind of are forewarning you about this. Sometimes what we may want, quote, want is not what we need. What your spiritual team is highlighting to you is what you need. What you may be focusing on is what you want or a vision that you think you have for yourself. And if you open up and you communicate with your spiritual team, they can help you expand said vision and open up the energy. Because your vision could be a little bit narrow-minded or focused on one outcome, setting that one intention but if you just shift a little bit, your spiritual team, spiritual team lets that open up, show you the intentions you could be setting, and then it can have multiple outcomes that are positive and opportunities for growth and you taking off in a positive way on the right path. So they're saying, maybe your desired outcome is not the best outcome. Maybe you let go of that desire and just ask to be guided and allow them to support you. And then that outcome that you may not even know you desire happens to be the one that you need and is very desirable. It's this energy of trusting, surrendering, and letting go and not being so fixated on what you think is supposed to be. So, okay. So what I'm being led to say is, 
maybe you know you're supposed to do something, right? So in that energy, if you're supposed to do it, you let that supposed to energy, because you have that clear, you have that clear energy, like you know it. Like I'm, I'm a shaman. I'm here to raise the earth's vibration and I'm here to help people reawaken. I know that's the foundation of who I am, right? There's no way fans or west about that. I know that clarity. How I do it, that's where the energy opens up into the realm of possibilities. So you have that knowing of what you're supposed to do, that foundation. Then you open up into the ways you're supposed to do it. Allowing the blossoming to happen. Let the, allowing the energy to open up. Not being so fixated on that outcome. Because there could be many things that happen and occur to help you do what you're supposed to do and what you have clear intentions on that's supposed to be on your path. They're saying, don't be so fixated on how. You just know the what and, and who you are. It's like my nose is inching. It's like it's right on your nose. It's right there. Um, my nose doesn't itch that much either. It's very random. Um, they want you to ground yourself and connect to your heart space. Connect to your root. Connect to them. Ask for the clarity on what you should focus on for intentions and receive the download and information. Ask them how you should be setting these intentions, what you should be focusing on, and allowing the energy to come through. Because you're in a powerful energy in site number three of you're going to receive. You can receive what you should receive. You may receive something that you think you want, but the purpose behind that is paying attention to the downloads, things that have been getting highlighted for you and setting that clear and right intention and allowing it to step forward and you be on that path. Um, they're telling me don't be blinded by the light. And I'm hearing like blinded by the lights by the weekend. Blinded by the lights. And they're like, don't let the lights blind you. So something may look really, really good. It may just be sparkly, right? Maybe you don't need to take the sparkly item. Maybe the path that's a little more dull is the one of the most rewards. Um, anything else? Oh, there is. Also, they're highlighting to me, remember you are setting your course. You are setting your course. And in that energy, what they're telling me to say to you is, it's your path, it's your course, it's your energy. So don't set a course trying to mimic somebody else or what you think it should be. Even if you look into somebody for inspiration, that is still their path. You have to tailor it to you. So they're saying, oh, don't, don't look at somebody and want to be them. Don't see someone's journey and want to do it just like them. Don't talk to somebody and seek that outside validation besides your spiritual team and this energy 1555 on the time. Because in this energy, what they're doing right now is basically trying to lead you towards something that they see for themselves or they may envision for you, but that what they're envisioning or what they're seeing for themselves may not correlate directly with who you are. And that's the point. That's the purpose. It's about you getting clear with self, with that foundation communicating with your spiritual team, setting the right intentions for you, not anyone else. It's about you. That's what they want me to end with. Intuitive insight number three. I'm Shaman Dejeuner. And again, this week's intuitive series insights focused on me. <laughs> They're saying focused on me, focused on me. You need to be focused. <coughs> focused on you so it's about you what's best for you 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 not anybody else not seeking outside validation not m trying to mirror somebody else you the right intentions for you the right movements for you the vision that you 
are getting and foundationally about who you are, what you're meant to do, and coming into that truth. And they're saying that vision, make it clear. Don't be blinded by other people like that, blinded by the light's energy by the weekend. So really, really get clear on what you want. Ground your energy. Pay attention to the downloads you're receiving, the highlights, the confirmations, the things that may be telling you this may not be the best thing. Or maybe you should focus on this energy from your spiritual team. Directly ask them for communication and highlight what they're talking about. And then focus on you and your path and setting the right intentions and being on the right course. So again, insight number three, I'm Shaman Dejanay, and this week's Intuitive Seer Insights, trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions LLC, is about downloads. And you are manifesting and you're receiving some beautiful things. Your spiritual team wants you to be very focused on you, setting the right intentions, making sure you're focusing on what you really want and what you really should be focusing on and not being blinded by the lights. And in this positive energy, you're manifesting no matter what. You just want to manifest and receive the right thing and pay attention to the downloads on what that should be. And um, again, if this week's Intuitive Sarah Insights did resonate insight number three, I hope you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, and help a budding spiritual influencer out. I hope you have a great morning, evening, or afternoon. Ashe. Thank you, amazing people, for watching this week's Intuitive Seer Insights, trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions, LLC. This week's Intuitive Seer Insights, trademarked by me and my business, Divine Creative Visions, LLC, is about downloads. You are receiving information, so make sure you're grounded enough to receive it and that you're paying attention. I was led to do, do in channel three insights this week that I do hope resonated. I truly do. And if they did resonate, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, and help a buddy spiritual influencer out. Again, I'm Shaman Dejanay, and my shamanic origins are of the earth, being the daughter of Gaia. And I am here to raise the earth's vibration, which I define as uplift humanity, healing the planet, and help people reawaken, which is what I define as tapping back into the magic of the magic within the universe. And I do so with videos like this that again, I do hope resonated. And if it did resonate, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, and help a buddy spiritual influencer out. I hope you have a great morning, evening, or afternoon. Ashe.